Hello, I'm Teacher Robin. Welcome to another live streaming class. If this is your first time to join us, let me first explain how the classes work. Today our topic is Halloween, so we're going to be giving you some scary series, uh, movies, and book recommendations related to Halloween, as well as talking about traditions uh, that we celebrate in English-speaking countries. So if you want to participate in the class today, what you can do is you can write in the comments. So that is how you participate and I will answer your questions throughout the class. So before we get started with today's topic, let's quickly review what we learned in last week's class in case you missed it. We talked about English connectors, sentence connectors. So we looked at connectors of time, of contrast and concession, cause and effect, addition and exclusion. Okay, so these are all the different kinds of sentence connectors in English. So if you missed that class and you want to watch it again, you can go to the video section of our Facebook page and there you can find all of our previous classes so you can watch them again as many times as you want to. You can pause, you can take notes, you can share them on your own Facebook page or you can tag someone you think might want to watch the class. So today for our special topic about Halloween, I have a special guest, Alex from our marketing department. Hello everyone. You may remember Alex, she has joined us on some previous live streamings when we talked about video games mm -hmm. and what was the other one? Tourism. Tourism, Tourism. for the hotel, yes, exactly. So thank you for joining us thank again. Thank you for receiving me. Um, Alex, can you tell us, so I said you work in the marketing department, mm -hmm. um, where are you from? and uh, what is your experience learning English? Okay guys, hello. Mm -hmm. um, I work in the marketing department, department as Robin said. I'm from Venezuela. I learned English uh, making courses but also at the university where I studied uh, modern languages. Mm -hmm. So, and I've been a fan of English since I was a kid, so that's okay. how I learned. Great. Uh, so today we are going to be talking about Halloween. So Halloween is coming up next week, next Wednesday, October the 31st. So if you're not familiar with Halloween traditions, we are going to explain them to you today and we're going to give you some recommendations because it's always great to learn English through movies, through uh, TV shows, and through reading books. Mm -hmm. So we have put together a, a list that we think is going to be really great for you. Alex especially is a fan of uh, terror movies and horror films and all of these uh, kinds of topics. So we're going to give you all of our recommendations. Okay, so first we've organized them according to category. So the, the kind of scary uh, movie or uh, TV show that they are. So let's start here. Um, if we want to see something about zombies, what should we watch? Uh, for sure, I would watch 28 Days Later. Mm -hmm. um, maybe some of you know it, but it's a movie from um, made in London and it's about uh, an accidental release of a virus and uh, survivors who try to cope up with this uh, new society, new world. Mm -hmm. So, and it also has sequels. Maybe of you maybe have seen it. I really recommend it because it's very exciting, scary, and there's also lots of action in mm -hmm. English for sure. Okay, good. Okay, vampires. There are lots of vampire movies, but what would you mm -hmm. say is the mm -hmm. best one? For this, uh, for this Halloween, I recommend this classic. Mm -hmm. It's considered also a cult movie, which is uh, from Dust Till Dawn. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe you remember, it's kind of about the 80s and 90s. George Clooney is on this movie, so oh. if you're fans, you had to see it. Okay. And um, <laughs> it's written by Quentin Tarantino, so it's kind All of right. interesting. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay, serial killers, uh, Halloween. So this is a very popular movie that is uh, has been remade and mm -hmm. is out in theaters now. Mm -hmm. Uh, so this is something you might want to watch. And what about demons? If we want to see something demon related. Yeah, well mm -hmm. about demons, uh, my recommendation is Hellraiser. Mm -hmm. It is a very old movie, uh, movie from the 80s. Um, it's regarding this, uh, it's about this guy who enters like a new dimension and then he's like, he gets like his body turned off by some monsters, some creatures. Mm -hmm. And then uh, after some years he resurrects, so he's looking for blood. To, to complete his resurrection. Maybe you know this uh, character, he's called Pinhead, and Pinhead. he's a guy with lots of pins in his head. You may uh, okay. Google it and you'll find it. It's very interesting and also a, a kind scary. of a classic. <laughs> yeah, it is. Okay, uh, let's see. I see we have some people joining us already. Uh, David, Mio, Ripon, sorry if I'm mispronouncing anyone's name, Jirakan, Alejandro, and Paul. Okay, thanks Hello, for watching. All right, so let's look at a few more recommendations by category. Supernatural, okay, so many of you have probably seen The Sixth Sense. 
Uh, so this is about a boy who says, I see dead people. Okay, so that's the, mm -hmm. the, the sixth sense that he has is his ability to see people who are dead. Um, what about a thriller? What's a really good thriller to watch? A really good thriller that I really like is Shutter Island. Mm -hmm. um, it's a movie with Leonardo DiCaprio. Um, he's a detective who goes into this medical facility to investigate the, the, the disappearance mm -hmm. of a... Um, of a person, so and well during it, it gets a bit you know like thriller, action, Lots also mystery, twist, twist uh -huh. that you know that you don't expect. So okay. it's really it's highly recommendable for Halloween night. Okay, and haunted places. So we recommend The Shining, which is another classic with Jack Nicholson. So he goes, his family moves into this house, and some strange things mm -hmm. start to happen there. Okay, so now let's move on uh, to TV shows. So we're going to talk about some new releases. So if you are on Netflix or if you have cable TV, then these are some really good recommendations for you to practice your English. Remember, uh, it's a good idea to watch with subtitles, mm -hmm. so uh, in, in English, so that you can listen and practice your reading skills and make sure you understand everything. Okay, so um, I just started watching this one recently. I haven't finished yet, but one new TV show, The Haunting of Hill House. So this is a family who, uh, who moves into this house and these strange things mm -hmm. start to uh, happen to them and it's the story of what happens um, after they actually leave the house mm -hmm. so the continuation here okay what's another recommendation another recommendation is uh, american horror story mm -hmm. uh, it's a very popular series right now they are in the nine or eight uh season wow this uh this time it's based on apocalypse so kind of a demon uh aspects mm -hmm. and it's really nice it's uh they're they bringing back uh, some of the old actors very famous Mm -hmm. And uh, they're they're doing like a crossover between uh, previous um, previous seasons, like Murder House or even uh, Coven. Mm -hmm. So I I recommend it if you like it, if you've seen it, uh, go ahead and and take a look. Okay, cool. Stranger Things. This is a very popular one right now. One of my personal favorites. Uh, this is about kind of supernatural parallel universe um, and science. So this is a really yeah. interesting TV show, and it's about kids. Yeah, and so. the other cool thing is that uh -huh. they are considered like losers, mm -hmm. like loser kids. Yeah. They are really, they are highly intelligent, highly creative, yes. and that's a, a kind of an interesting vibe for uh, for this type of, of shows. Yeah. Okay. The Terror. Which one is this? The Terror. This series. Um, I think it was launched this year. Um, mm -hmm. It has a lot of publicity. I saw it and I liked it. In the end, it's about this um, excursion at the beginning of the century where they were trying to find the, the Antarctica oh, and things okay. go wrong. Mm. So I won't uh, say anything else, but if you like this kind of uh, subjects, you can take a look at it. Okay, and Channel Zero? Remind Channel me Zero, yeah, many people don't mm -hmm. know this series. Um, it's kind of an independent. I think it's from sci-fi, if I'm not wrong. Um, they are taking this... Uh, myths that are born in the internet like these horror stories that people invent mm -hmm. and they have taken a couple of these stories and bring them bring them to life in so uh, people write horror stories yeah. on the internet yeah okay you, you know this spread this page is like create lists like mm -hmm. some people uh write things and uh they became like viral they become viral in, okay. in this page yes and many people know it so Interesting. It's, it's kind of creepy so if you're gonna take a look you have to be very horror Fun. Don't watch it alone. Maybe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, let's move on to movies. First, we're going to do the new releases, and then we're going to talk about some classic uh, scary movies. Okay, The Nun. Uh, I assume this is about a nun, but what exactly? Yeah. Is well, the story um, this here? is this is a continuation of uh, the Conjuring and the Annabelle uh, trilogy. Mm -hmm. And at the in the first movie, they introduce the nun, which is the ghost, the main ghost of the Conjuring. Ah, so she's and a ghost. Yeah, she's okay. uh, well, she's. A ghost, a demon. Uh -huh. you, you have to see it. Okay. Um, but uh, they're taking, they're bringing the story about the nun because she appeared at the beginning in mm -hmm. this movie, and now they are doing like a special movie mm -hmm. about about this character. Okay. And let's see. I haven't seen it. Comment mm -hmm. uh, if you have seen it, guys. Yes, please. Uh, if we, if there's something that you would like to recommend that we haven't mentioned, please feel free to write it in the comments. Okay, another new release, Halloween Returns, as I mentioned before. Um, this is the remake of the old Halloween film with the same actors, D Jamie Lee Curtis. Mm -hmm. um, so this is yeah. really exciting. She's coming back with a twist that she wants to take uh, to take revenge oh. against uh, Michael Myers mm -hmm. because she survived uh, his attacks. So it's kind of interesting in Jamie Lee Curtis. He's, she's such she's a great, a great actress. actress so. uh -huh. 
take a look. Okay, so many more people are saying hello, and they're joining us from Thailand, Pakistan, Bulgaria, Afghanistan, Spain, and England. Wow, so many countries okay. represented. That's you awesome. You like horroring Halloween. Yes, we hope nice. so. Oh, and Mexico as well. <laughs> okay, very good. Welcome. Let's continue. All right, the first purge, what is that? So in English, to mm -hmm. purge means you kind of rid yourself mm -hmm. of something bad, like mm -hmm. a cleansing, so yeah. how is this related to... It's kind of like the, su the subject of the purge. This is mm -hmm. actually the third movie they have made, they have made two before, and mm -hmm. this is about the beginning, how it began. The story is about um, a new America, America changes, mm -hmm. and now they decide to have this purge night where people can commit, crime, can commit crimes without being punished. Wow. So maybe you have seen like this creepy mask, uh, and it's very popular right now, so take a look at it. And there's also two movies before, so you have a whole marathon on Halloween if you want. <laughs> we, we have hours and hours <laughs> of <laughs> recommendations. Yes. You can keep yourself entertained <laughs> all weekend. Okay, Slender Man. So this is actually based on a true story of some uh, some children who uh, read an internet story mm -hmm. or who became uh, inspired by an internet story to actually hurt their their friend. Mm -hmm. um, so this is uh, a, a remake of what they. Um, what about the word recreation? slender? Yes. It's, so it's, slender it means, means like means to be skinny, to be thin. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. how is that mm -hmm. related to? I think that the, this ghost, mm -hmm. uh, his appearance is like that. He's very tall mm -hmm. and skinny. Tall and skinny. Mm -hmm. Okay, interesting. And finally, what about Mandy? What is this about? Mandy, uh, I, I just recently discovered that Nicolas Cage is uh, is uh, is launching this movie. Okay. It's a horror movie. Um, what I read because I haven't seen it, but I want to because I'm a fan. Like he he lives in this forest, uh, circulated forest with his wife, mm -hmm. and then they suddenly be become like hunted by this uh, group of uh, crazy people. Let's say cult. Let's say sat satanic. I'm not sure, mm -hmm. and then he decides to take revenge for what they do, so um, take mm -hmm. a look because the images uh, look very promising. Okay, all right, so now let's uh, quickly move through the classics. You probably have heard of many of these, but obviously um, they are always good. That's why we call them classics. So, for example, Psycho, this, uh, this movie from Alfred Hitchcock. Uh, about the the famous scene of the woman mm -hmm. in the shower. Mm -hmm. ting, ting, yes, ting. exactly. <laughs> okay, so that's a good one. Uh, Friday the Thirteenth. Okay. Uh -huh. So uh, as you may know, uh, Friday the Thirteenth is an unlucky day. So uh, in English, whenever it's it's uh, Friday the Thirteenth, you think uh, you're going to have bad luck mm -hmm. that day. Mm -hmm. And uh, what it, what happens in this movie to to make in it? In this unlucky? movie, it's um it's about this guy. Maybe you remember he has like a hockey mask. It's kind mm -hmm. of a normal movie, but we remember because we we have seen it. And mm -hmm. um, he gets drowned. He as a boy gets drowned in this lake. And then um, years later, mm -hmm. this area is supposed to be like cursed, and mm -hmm. people start disappearing and dying. Mm -hmm. And of course, this happens on Friday the thirteenth. Okay. So yeah. So it's associated mm -hmm. with an, with uh, bad luck. Yes, with bad luck. Okay. Alejandro says I'm watching American Horror Story. Okay. Yay. Good. So I, that's good to hear. All right, um, Halloween we've mentioned before. It, this is the movie about a uh, clown, a uh, murderous clown, right? I actually hate clowns, that's one of them. I don't think I can watch this movie. Um, <laughs> Do any of you have a, a phobia for me? I really don't like clowns. So something that you're really scared of, we say you have a phobia. Share, share okay. with us. Yeah, sure. What is your phobia? What's something <laughs> that you're really scared of? Okay, let's uh, talk about the last two. Rosemary's Baby. Okay, so this is a classic from the 70s. Mm -hmm. uh, so Rosemary has a baby, and then what happens? Then um, then Rosemary is mm -hmm. afraid that the, some cult, some satanic cult, wants to take her baby mm -hmm. to make, I don't know, rituals, sacrifices. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of a psychological thriller mm -hmm. um, of a mom who is really worried and uh, panicking about his uh, her son take, being taken. Mm -hmm. Okay, and finally, Blair Witch Project. This was uh, started out as like an amateur movie, mm -hmm. just some friends uh, filming themselves in the mm -hmm. woods, right? But mm -hmm. then some things start to happen. Uh, exactly, and, and they are start being hunted. Mm -hmm. They suddenly disappear, just leaving the tapes. Mm -hmm. And when they discover the tapes, uh, well, people start panicking what happened to them. Mm -hmm. Related to this um, myth about the Blair Witch, yes. which nobody has uh, actually seen. So they start to uncover this uh, mystery. Mm -hmm. In the end, they get, I don't know what, <laughs> yeah. you have to see. Okay. Good. All right, now let's move on to books. So if you enjoy reading, uh, then this is a great way to, through reading uh, scary books, terror, 
books. Some of these have been made into movies, but the original is, is the book. Um, so H.P. Lovecraft is a famous writer uh, of mm -hmm. this genre. Can you uh, tell us about this, this book? Yes. Um, well, uh, Lovecraft is a very famous actor. I mean, mm -hmm. he's one of the highlights of uh, terror. And mm -hmm. uh, he made this um, book about, I think it's about uh, some sort of expedition to this mm -hmm. mountain. And what they discovered there is so shocking mm -hmm. that they want to tell other people, hey, don't come. But okay. of course, they come. So mm -hmm. it's it's kind of about that. But it's a really it's a really good uh, book. Okay. Read, if you want to improve. Stephen King. He is very popular. Uh, there's so many books that we could recommend by Stephen King. But one of uh, your favorites, right, mm -hmm. is uh, Pet Cemetery. So so is that uh, yeah literally what it's about? Yeah yeah. It's about it's it's kind of a the night of the living dead, but with pets. So pets after they die, mm -hmm. they. Uh, resurrect and they start hunting their masters. Oh, be afraid, guys, with your dogs and cats. I I hope my dog mm. never does. That. Yeah, I, I actually yeah. picked this one because they're doing a remake. Uh, mm -hmm. I think it's this year, so I wanted to to share with you. Maybe mm -hmm. today, kids today will find it a bit funny. You know, like your pets are hunting you. Mm -hmm. But at the time, it was a very was scary. scary movie. Okay. Uh, Anne Rice. Okay, this is an older one. Interview mm -hmm. with a vampire, and this has uh, been made into a movie, mm -hmm. um, as well as uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula. Okay, so a couple of classics here, classic novels. That you can miss. Yes, that you can't miss. Okay, a, a few more. Um, Hellraiser, so we talked about the movie, so it's based on the book by mm -hmm. Clive Barker. Mm -hmm. Okay, what about Edgar Allan Poe here? Guys, this is very mm -hmm. good when you want to learn English because mm -hmm. Edgar Allan Poe, he has short short stories, short poems, so mm -hmm. it, and they're easy to read. And they rhyme. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And one of the most famous is The mm -hmm. Raven, um, but of course he has many, so you can get like a small book with, the, with his stories and you, mm -hmm. and you have that a lot of uh, information to learn and practice English. Yes. Okay. And finally, Ray Bradbury. Uh, this is an older mm -hmm. one as well, Something Wicked mm -hmm. This Way Comes. Um, this book is uh, is interesting. It deals with the story of two boys that they they go to this carnival. You know mm -hmm. that uh, in the states and maybe in some countries they do this uh, carnivals that go yes. city to city, town yes. to town, mm -hmm. and they they go to this carnival and they get like uh, lots of scares, like a nightmare. It becomes a nightmare. Mm -hmm. And there's this guy that uh, he gives people like wishes. He gives wishes, but uh, mm -hmm. uh, he takes as well. Mm -hmm. So it's the story of these two boys trying to survive and to cope with uh, with fear. Okay. All right. So now that we've given you our recommendations, let's look at some expressions. Uh, continuing with the Halloween theme, uh, some expressions related to death and dying. So there's actually a lot of them. There's so many ways to say that someone died and actually some of them are a little bit nicer, some mm -hmm. of them are kind of funny. Um, let's start with to kick the bucket, okay? If you say he kicked the bucket or someone kicked the bucket, it means they died. But actually this comes from uh, the olden days when people were executed by hanging. They had to stand on a bucket and then the bucket was kicked from underneath them and they, they fell and they died. So uh, to kick the bucket literally comes mm -hmm. from, from this. So this is kind of cruel, right? It is kind of cruel. So this isn't a, a nice one that you would want to use with someone, but it's kind of uh, in a joking way uh, you can use this, mm -hmm. uh, this expression. What about pushing daisies? Um, pushing daisies is uh, to die. Yes. But it, it's like a euphemism, like a yeah. good way to say it. Mm -hmm. um, what you explained to me before is yes. that when you died, like uh, roses, they grow yes. from your tomb. Yes, exactly. So when, if you're underground, then flowers can actually flowers. bloom on top of you. So if you're pushing daisies, it means you're underneath and the, the flowers are coming up through the ground. Okay, to cash in your chips. So this is related to gambling. So this is the last thing that you would do uh, at the casino. Uh, once you are ready to collect your money, you take your chips and you cash them in. So mm -hmm. when you die, the last thing that you would do is to cash in your chips. Okay, and to bite the dust? Well, to bite the dust, it mm -hmm. also means to die. Um, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's another yeah. expression and there's a song about it. There is. Another one bites the dust, uh -huh. right? Okay. Uh, from Queen. <laughs> yes. Uh, this literally means if you, uh, if you die, let's say that you fall over or you're shot and you, you fall down, then you, uh, your face hits the ground and maybe you, you're eating uh, some, uh, some dust from the ground. So to bite the dust, that's where that comes from. 
Okay, let's look at a few more. Um, this one is a little bit uh, nicer way, uh, didn't make it. So mm -hmm. let's say uh, someone was in surgery and they died or, or something like that. It was unexpected. You say, oh, they didn't mm -hmm. make it. Like, mm -hmm. so they, they didn't uh, survive a, a surgery or a treatment or something. And this is also a popular a popular phrase in uh, horror movies. You know, they always mm. like, when they're running, where is... Where is Robin? Oh, mm -hmm. she didn't make it. She didn't you make know, it. Ah, uh, yes. She, she didn't make it in action. out of the house or out of the scary situation. Okay? Uh, to drop dead. All right. <laughs> so, if someone drops dead, uh, it means it happens very suddenly. So, if someone has, like, a heart attack or if they're shot or something like that and you fall down instantly, uh, that means that you, you, drop, uh, you drop dead. Okay? And check out. Well, check out, it also means to die. Uh, mm -hmm. It's uh, related to hotel uh, yes. language. Like when you check out is when you leave the hotel. Mm -hmm. It's the last place that you visit at the hotel. So when you check out is that you mm, abandon life. You check so out of life. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> All right. And finally, we want to talk about some Halloween traditions. So why do we celebrate Halloween? Where does this actually come from? Um, can you explain, Alex? Mm -hmm. um, the the tradition of Halloween began as an ancient festival of Samhain, that's the name. And in this festival, what people would do was to light bonfires to ward off ghosts, okay? As a way of protecting them from ghosts. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here we have two important dates. So actually, November 1st, this comes from a Christian holiday, All Saints Day. So to mm -hmm. celebrate all of the saints uh, in Christianity. So the day before is... Halloween. Yeah. And Hallows Eve. All Hallows Eve. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is to celebrate the the dead. Okay. Um, so what are the different ways that we celebrate Halloween? Uh, it could be dressing up. So we wear costumes, all kinds of different costumes. Have you dressed up for Halloween? I haven't, to be honest. No? Like, I'm not a fan of costumes, but I like people wearing costumes. <laughs> you like to see what people I are like wearing. I like to see them. <laughs> yes, it's always fun to come Have up you? with different ideas. Oh, yes, when I was uh, younger. <laughs> Yes, every year I wore a Halloween costume. Um, okay, pumpkin carving. So this is another popular tradition. So what you do is you take a pumpkin, you take out all the seeds and what's inside, and uh, you carve it so you make it kind of look like it has a face. It could be a happy face, a scary mm -hmm. face. Then you put a candle inside, and we call it a jack-o'-lantern. So uh, it lights up, and you can put it in your doorway um, or as in, your, in your home as a decoration. Okay, and then trick-or-treat. So this is what we call uh, when we go door-to-door, uh, in your neighborhood, children go door to door with the bag, and the neighbors you uh, you knock on the door or you ring the doorbell, and they'll they'll give you candy. Mm -hmm. So you can get a lot of candy actually, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> depending on how many houses you go to. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the trick or treat, do you know where that comes from? Um, well, not where yeah. it come it came yeah. from, but I, what it means. I mean, yeah. if you don't give me candy, I can yeah. I know do something to scare I you. I will trick you. Yes, yeah? mm -hmm. exactly. Okay, very good. So now that we have completed our lesson on Halloween, we want to hear from you. Um, so we want to ask you two questions. The first is, do you celebrate Halloween in your country? Um, so tell us uh, if you do, what's different? Uh, someone has said, for example, Edwin from Bolivia, he says here Halloween is known as the Dia de Todos los Santos. Yes, mm -hmm. exactly. Mm -hmm. So all saints. Very good, thank you right. for sharing that. Okay, so if you have another tradition, then please share that with us. Um, and final, and what's the other question? Yeah, what's your favorite scary movie, book, TV show? Okay, I'm sure we've left some out, so please let us know, give us some good recommendations. Yeah. Okay, as you're doing that, let me tell you about the course at ABBA. We have a complete course if you want to practice your English with us. Uh, we have a course from beginners to business level and it has 144 units. So each unit, uh, you see a short film, then you complete exercises, you watch a video class with the teacher explaining the grammar. So this is a really great way to improve your English, right, Alex? So if you want to sign up with us, you can start as a free student. As a free student, you'll have access to all of the video classes as well as the first unit of each level. And then if you decide to go premium, you will have access to all of our course content as well as uh, you'll be assigned a teacher like me, who you can write to anytime you have a question. Okay, uh, in addition, we have many other resources like our blog, you can find articles there about grammar, culture, English for business, travel, all kinds of good 
topics and we're on all of the social media networks uh, including Instagram we don't have that here but Facebook Twitter YouTube Instagram uh, mm -hmm. so you can find us everywhere everywhere yes exactly okay so let's see are there any other questions or has anyone shared anything about uh, Halloween if not feel free to keep um, writing in the comments let me tell you about next week's class we're going to be talking about how to order takeout in English so uh, it sounds kind of silly but actually um, it's important because imagine you're traveling in an English-speaking yeah. country um, and you want to know how to order the right mm -hmm. things so we're gonna talk about that next week Don't miss it. so uh, for now I'd just like to uh, thank Alex for joining me thank you Robin. these are some great recommendations that you've given us uh, so we thank appreciate you. it remember this is the best way to practice your English watching movies reading books watching TV shows um, it's a great way to become fluent quickly and enjoy yourself. Um, so we hope that if you do celebrate Halloween, have a great time uh, next Wednesday. And don't forget to join us next week when we're talking about ordering takeout. So mm -hmm. take care and have a great day. Bye, Bye guys.